Okay, today it's, um, I guess I should tell you who I am, uh, Jim Howard, and I should give you the date. It's uh, November 22nd, 2015. Every, I think just about every November 22nd since 1963, when this day rolls around, I always remember that it's... uh, the day that John F. Kennedy, President John F. Kennedy, was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. Um, I even, I made a video back in 2006. And sometimes I, it's a YouTube video and I Hello, uh, my name's uh, Jim Jim Howard, and today's date is uh, November twenty third, two thousand and six. Uh, I'm a day late, but I want to record something about uh, where I was when John F. Kennedy was assassinated. I try to make this kind of brief. I could go, you know, I was before John F. Kennedy was elected four years before I supported him. Uh, I voted, he was the first president that I voted for. Not going to make you watch that entire thing. It's only six minutes. So I was pretty brief. In that, uh, the start of that, I said I supported John F. Kennedy four years before he was even, you know, elected. And uh, I was in high school then, and I think I was like a sophomore or something, and it was, um, I forget who, was it Adlai Stevens? I forget who the candidate ended up being, but Kennedy, uh, I'm not sure if he was trying to get the presidential nomination, Uh, maybe he was trying to get the vice, I can't remember now, maybe he was trying to get the vice presidential nomination, and uh, he didn't get it, but I was going to a Catholic high school, military high school, all male, taught by the Christian brothers, and uh, they were pretty strict. And the uh, brother said, "Okay, if if uh, fill out the, if you were going to be voting for president this year, and uh, who would it be, Adlai Stevenson, or who was I forget." who the Republican candidate was. Let's see, it would have been who was before. Well, my mind is going. Anyway, so I wrote down, I'm John F. Kennedy. And the brother, no. You need to redo this. He's not one of the candidates, you know. Redo it. So I wrote John F. Kennedy again and gave it to him. And he didn't. I didn't get hit, which was surprising. Some of the, like one of the Christian brothers, if if one student in the class didn't have his homework, he took the thing off your, off of a, you know, the chair there that you sat in, you know, the paddle sort of thing, and he went around and hit every kid in the class. So I was surprised. But um, so four years later, John F. K. I was in. Um, welding school in Cleveland, Ohio. I'd left Kansas City, Missouri to go to welding school, so I voted by absentee ballot for John F. Kennedy. Uh, I posted this just yesterday, or it would be today. I posted it yesterday, and I I posted this along with it. I remember, of course, you know, I I was, uh, I did a radio program back then for an international broadcasting station, WRUL Radio, Radio New York Worldwide. And it was my broadca- My program was broadcast to Europe, Africa, and Latin America two or three times a week, depending on the seasons. And uh, I was listening to, I wasn't listening to my radio pro. I was listening to the radio station, WRUL Radio, and I heard the announcement that shots had been fired at them presidential motorcade in Dallas and I hadn't even I didn't even know that K 
Kennedy had gone to Dallas. And uh, then the reports came in. And then after that, I decided, you know, I, I guess I, well, when the reports came in that fired shots were fired at the motorcade, I thought, well, they didn't hit the president. And when reports came in, you know, I thought, well, when it came in that he had been hit, well, probably just, you know, didn't didn't want to accept the fact that. Uh, and then finally, uh, Walter Cronkite. <laughs> The world turns. For viewers of the CBS soap opera, as the world turns, first word came at about 1.40 p.m. Eastern time. It happened too quickly for cameras to be in place. And I gave it a great deal of thought, Grandpa. Here is a bulletin from CBS News. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. Then it was back to the soap opera, but not for long. Soon after, Walter Cronkite was back, reporting from the CBS newsroom, complete with rotary telephones and wire machines. This picture has just been transmitted by wire. It is a picture taken just a moment or two before the incident. If you can zoom in with that camera, we can get a closer look at this picture. And almost exactly one hour after his initial bulletin, this now famous announcement. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. Vice President Lyndon Johnson <clears throat> has left the hospital in uh, Dallas, but we do not know uh, to... So, let's see, that was not what I was going to discuss today, but how did they get on that? I guess the date was enough. To, it didn't take much to distract me. Uh, here's my uh, Amazon profile. Now, what I don't see here is there is a... Um, a button, I guess, where you can say, follow me. And I see a few of you are doing that. That way you can see the reviews that I'm doing. These are reviews that on the, uh, well, actually, the better way is, well, you can do it here, but this is my profile. And there's also a, a link where you can uh, see the latest things that I have reviewed. You know, I'm not, I, I think I've told you that, I'm not much into, um, okay, this, this, these weren't the ones I did. Well, I, I did these, but uh, there was a very simple ones that I did that uh, worked out very well, but. I gave this uh, to my ex-wife. She'll uh, really be able to... Um, she sells stuff on eBay. That's a good price. 26 This was This was a good uh, $26 if you happen to need a postal scale. Actually, I guess it can be used for other stuff. It weighs up to 100... It'll weigh up to 110 10 pounds. Not sure if I've ever mentioned it or not, but I don't even think on my I don't think on my blog that if you if I have a link on my blog to something on Amazon and you go there, even if you don't buy that item, if from that link once you, you go there, you go to some place on Amazon and you purchase somebody else, purchase somebody, oh, well, they're selling people. I think the Republicans probably would like to do that, be able to sell people. But um, if you purchase something else, I get a commission, but 
Amazon does not pay very big commissions. Uh, these are the um, earbuds that I used in my um, cell phone. And um, using this around, the, I, I, I almost never use my cell phone. I almost never use this. And I certainly don't want to do... I do not want to surf the internet on a cell phone. I don't want to talk on a cell phone. But although I do, Android is neat. But around the house here, for some reason, cell phone, talking on the cell phone was pretty, pretty crappy in and out. And I plugged this in, and it must be that... Uh, the wire going to you must work as an antenna or something because I had a great conversation on here that was crystal clear and really neat and no coming. So another reason to, I guess, use earbuds. As I said, uh, this, I don't know what I'm going to be talking to you about. I just wanted to wanted to make this video. One reason I wanted to make it is uh, I think all the videos I've been making where I had the the option with a camera or the software of doing have been generally, well, for YouTube, 1980 by 10, 10 whatever, what is it, whatever that is. Um uh, Yeah, I've done it 1920 by 1080. I've been doing it 30 frames per second. And the last few vid videos I've been doing uh, 24 frames per second. I, do you notice any difference? I don't think you do. I can not notice any difference. But now if I'm making a video just for Amazon of a review, I don't make it at... Um, 1920 by 1080, I make it at uh, 1280 by 720. And there again, I don't see much, uh, see much difference. I just uploaded this review to... Amazon. Hello. Uh, Jim Howard here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. It's uh, November 22nd, 2015. Uh, this is a review of these Black Hawk Special Operations Light Assault Gloves. I think actually the video here is going to, or the, uh, I think this actually gives you a better idea. I, uh, you know, these feel, I'll be making a review shortly of these gloves. And, uh, by the way, these gloves that I just reviewed, tomorrow is my, is Hillary's birthday. And she's here from Sweden. And um, she does boating over there. She has her own boat. Her husband has a boat also. And uh, when she's out on the boat, she's pulling the rope for the sails and stuff like that. And uh, hard on the hand, so I gave her those gloves. I think I'm also going to give her these gloves. Although, when I put these gloves on, when I put these on, I, I want to go out and kick ass. And so it's probably a good reason for me to go ahead and give these to her, too, although they match my camera bag. 
but uh, I'm going to give them to her also. Because I enjoy the feel of these gloves too much. I'm a pacifist, but I put these gloves on. I think it's sort of like carrying a concealed weapon. I don't carry a concealed weapon. I don't own a, well, I don't own a weapon because I no longer have a need for a weapon. But I think it's the same thing with you, if you carry an, a, a weapon and you're not a law enforcement officer or a security officer or something. I think you put it on. I think the people who put it on. Fucking, I hope somebody, you know, I hope, uh, you know, I think these gloves are the same way. I put them on and I want to fucking hurt somebody. So probably better I don't have them. Uh, where was I? They feel great for some reason. It's got to be. Not just okay, that reviews there anyway, I think I've gotten off of uh subject enough. I'm gonna review this here in a few minutes. I don't, you, well, you probably haven't noticed. I haven't been putting a bunch of the reviews that I've been doing. I haven't been putting them on on uh, YouTube. This is pretty neat. Rechargeable lantern. You know, it has uh, solar cells on top. Going to give that to Hillary also. Um, although... I'm not sure if it'll survive being shipped. Well, I think she'll probably want to carry it with her to probably be better to... It, it's not... Man, what does this thing cost? Oh, never mind. It... I like things made out of stainless steel or aluminum or titanium. Um, this just does not feel... But it's neat, you know, rechargeable. You can charge something on, on low power. Neat, but, I don't know. Of course, I, it's, I guess it's all in price. I mean, if, what, what the heck is it? We're going to find out, then I'm going to let you go. Uh, what are we looking for? Nope, 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 nope. I hope I... Put this down here someplace. This is it. Okay. $25. Um, uh, it's neat, but I I wish they could have made it. At, but I guess it would have been more money. Probably been 50 bucks with stainless steel or aluminum or titanium. Neat, but anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. What's uh, new? Um, oh, uh, you can't see it, but I've, I've got my old monitor there. I have my new monitor right here, which you're you're seeing, because I'm doing a screen capture, and. I've got my old monitor finally sitting back here on the uh, thing. And I think uh, here in a few days I'm going to order a Roku 3. I have a Roku, Roku 2 in the other room hooked to my television set. And uh, I think I'm going to get a Roku 3 in a few days. Hook it up so I'll have my computer screen here. And I'll have uh, the ability to get everything that Roku offers. So I'm not, a, you know, mainly doing internet and doing reviews and YouTube videos and whatever. But 
think I'm going to do, I know I'm going to do that here in a few days. So Anyway, thank you very much for watching at uh, 24 frames per second. I guess movies, I'm not sure if they are anymore, but I guess th that was the standard for movies, for films, for cinema, was 24 frames a second. And I think a, a lot, some people do their videos at 24 frames per second. I think a lot of camcorders that you get, that's one of the, you know, that's an option there that it's 24, and uh, people think, but I'm not sure it really matters for, I think somebody said that uh, YouTube videos are all, when you upload them, 24 frames per second when you're viewing them. So I don't know if that's correct or not. If somebody's a expert in you know, might post a comment below. Thank you very much for watching.